Coach Walker, thank you for taking time with us at Off the Block Block uh, after the uh, all-day uh, tournament uh, here at SC. Um, let's uh, just dig into the uh, tournament. Uh, what uh, did you see from your guys? Uh, well, uh, you know, I think we, in a locker room, talked a little bit about the guys, about some adjustments we want to make in games. We wanted them to play every point, um, you know, with the same fight they would end of matches. So just being consistent with our energy. Um, I thought they did a great job with it. We saw a lot of different uh, things from the athletes, which we were very happy with the response. Um, they had a lot of tight games today, and we were able to come back in some and able to fight through some of the battles, and I thought that was a really good thing to see this early on. I mean, I know a lot of these teams have just started, so um, but it's good to know that we have, you know, we got a pretty good rhythm here from uh, our first uh, time seeing someone else. This uh, tournament was a little bit more hectic than the... Uh tournament you'll play at UCLA in a couple weeks uh, that tournament only has four teams this one I guess uh, with all the splits he had uh, double digit teams and uh, this t uh, t format was best two out of three and uh, UCLA will be uh, best three out of five um, what will how will you prepare differently for the, that tournament in a couple weeks um, yeah, I think what we're trying to do is develop the athletes where we can be more specific on defense, offense, and probably some things we want to see in games a little more I guess, strategically or uh, executed at a higher level. So um, some of those things I know we can plan a little bit early out. You know, we'll know the team we're playing. Um, we saw a lot of the athletes today uh, on those teams play. So you know, hopefully we can have some type of, uh, not as a game plan, but have something where we're a little more structured going into it. Um, you know, I think playing the you know a full match uh, obviously is uh, – prepares us better for our season. Um, you know, these are kind of, I feel like these are like little teases and little snippets of um, our guys and kind of what, I guess we, if we just throw them, at the, you know, throw them into it, what they'll look like. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think we'll have plenty of time now to be able to prepare here um, this next week and, and get into a little bit of rhythm and clean up some of the stuff that we saw today. So that's good. Let's talk about uh, the your off season, and we all know that uh, anybody who knows you, you don't have an off season. You uh, are the uh, head coach of the uh, men's sitting team, um, and also um, you um, helped out uh, Coach David Hunt with the uh, Pan Am team. Um, can you tell us uh, more about uh, what you did over the summer? Yeah, um, uh, I guess the summer started off. I have uh, all my responsibilities um, as. Uh, leader of our sitting program and uh, I have a great staff that was able to kind of balance some of the preparations we headed in. We had world championships this year which was our first chance to qualify for Tokyo 2020. Um, we finished top eight. Um, I don't think we've ever finished top eight so that was good to have that type of uh, mark. Um, one of our other teams in the zone finished top four so you know we have some competition here for our, our, quali our next qualification opportunity. Um, after that, um, you know, we had a lot of a lot of sitting stuff this summer for sure. Uh, I joined um, uh, John had had me travel with uh, the men's indoor for VNL uh, for a couple weeks, and which is um, it's always awesome to work with that staff and that team. Um, super great for it. And uh, and then the next uh, opportunity was our sitting world championships. We went to um, the Netherlands and we were over there for a little bit. Had a pre tournament in Italy, which was awesome. And then after that, we went, uh, came back, um, uh, had a job change, and uh, had to move extremely quick, and uh, get out to here to Southern California. And um, and then uh, David Hunted called and asked if I could just step in and just help them uh, through the tournament. And it was great to join that staff and uh, learn from them and observe and get to work with those guys as well. So it was a pretty busy summer. Uh, super thankful for my wonderful wife Heather to let me uh, have those opportunities and um, you know to get better and, and be you know, better for all the teams I'm with and and also for you know my uh, the college team as well. So. You definitely married up, right? I did. I married up big time, so <laughs> that helps. Um, let's talk about your uh, your your, um, your transition from uh, uh, Sacred Heart. Uh, what uh, will you most uh, miss about um, uh, being the head coach of uh, Sacred Heart as well? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think the biggest thing was it's all about, you know, I can say that you know, we recruited really great people and, you know, um, from Kalani, I inherited some really great, great guys on a team and, you know, especially when they were working hard and, uh, um, 
you know, they brought my own guys in too and had a bunch of transfers. And so it was great to have build that culture and be there. Um, I, you know, I still talk to a bunch of them today and they're, they're just, they're great. You know, their, their families, it's funny that California guys, you know, their families are still here and, um, it's nice to know that they're doing well and they just hired a new coach and, uh, a very tenured coach, which is great, um, for the program. Um, I'm going to miss the staff. I enjoyed the people I got to work with. Uh, that was a really, it made it a fun place to be at, you know, from my support staff, from our athletic trainer, our strength coach, to our academic services. It, um, they were just really great people to work with. And that's what really made it, um, I think, worthwhile the last few years to, to, to be there at an institution like that. So, Right. Uh, you also brought your assistant uh, over here, so you won't be totally alone here at SC, right? Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, I was super, uh, super stoked to have him out here, but it was even better because the, you know, the situation at Sacred Heart, you know, is both, uh, you know, part-time head coach and a very underfunded, you know, assistant and, you know, um, you know, one of the, you know, uh, one of my friends was able to step in and, uh, work in a more than full-time capacity and, you know, he matched my hours that I was in the office and, um, was able to really develop a high skill set real quick. And, uh, you know, I think for, for young people to have that type of work ethic was really cool to see. And, you know, when uh, you know, Jeff had hired me uh, when we were looking for a volunteer, you know, I just threw it out there and said, hey, like, I, you know, if we're looking for people with this characteristics and, you know, have this skill set, I was like, you know, I know a guy. And uh, so, you know, Jeff had some conversation with him and it was, uh, it was really good and uh, super happy for him to have the opportunity to come out here. Uh, let's talk about how, how did uh, the the, um, the uh, job at SC come about? How, uh, what was the uh, process of you getting hired here? Um, yeah, I mean, it was it was over the summer. We, you know, there's a super quick transition. Um, uh, you know, I I had some other things that I was kind of looking at after this year um, at Cedar Heart. And we made some made some changes and just kids. <laughs> we made some changes and. Uh, um, you know, my wife, we were looking for some different opportunities, even her professionally, so uh, it really couldn't have gotten any better. She landed an incredible job out here. Um, she's done a great job with that and uh, worked her way up, so it, it just all kind of fell into place, and you know, the SC family has been incredible. So, so uh, you uh, are married to a doctor, and you work with a doctor, so you're just all over the place filled uh, around doctors, huh? We have, uh, I'm around very educated people, so it's, uh, it's always a learning experience. <laughs> um, let's, uh, talk about, uh, uh, go back to the, uh, team, um, probably the big, I was, I've been telling everybody the Jeff's, uh, biggest recruiting job this year was to bring Jack back for, a, a fourth year. Um, what does, uh, Jack mean to the, uh, program? Yeah, um, I mean, you know, obviously I think his performance last, you know, his career here has been kind of spoken for itself, but I just know from this year and tell the guys, like, it's a new year for everybody. It's a new year for me. Um, it's like my freshman year here, so getting to know the guys. And um, Jack brings, you know, just a whole different level of uh, kind of experience, um, you know, confidence on the court, um, ball IQ. Um, but he's such a such a great influence with the other guys and leadership and all that on the, on the floor. So I'm um, super excited to have him back this year and have him with us. Um, one of the coolest moments uh, in the last uh, few weeks was uh, seeing uh, Sam Lewis's uh, video. Uh, yeah. you, you got to know him a little bit in the uh, time that you've been uh, here. What, uh, what stands out to you as uh, uh, for Sam as, as a person? We all know him as the, the uh, amazing middle blocker for SC, but what stands out to you as, uh, for um, when you uh, think of Sam the person? Yeah. You know, uh, Sam and I would talk briefly about this, about just, you know, the level of kind of like identity. Um, you know, his video, I think, speaks about like his bravery to speak out on things. And um, I know how tough it is. Um, you know, I've, uh, I've been around, um, uh, I've been around a lot of people that, uh, you know, say, say, share the same thoughts and same beliefs as, uh, as Sam and I, I think it's incredible when they can speak out about it. I think it's great whenever um, they can be have a platform um, at you know at, at wherever they're playing sports. I think it's great whenever um, he has his team behind him, you know, his Trojan family. And uh, but I think his bravery and his confidence on it, and obviously carries over the court for who he is as a player. Uh, so we all know that uh, the uh, players that are coming back: there's Jack, there's Sam, there's John Luca, there's Chris Hall, and um, Paxton. 
Tell us about a player that we don't know about right now that you think will be a big contributor. Yeah, um, big contributor. Um, we have a transfer that came in, uh, Vega Sloan. I think he's going to be huge for us. Uh, really physical kid. Um, you know, he's been hitting some great numbers in our practice gym, and uh, we're doing a lot of stuff with our offense, our defense. And I think he's um, you know, he's buying into everything real quick and uh, quick learner for sure. Super athletic, but. Uh, Hey, some other guys are thinking, even in that same position, you know, Tyler Resnick, Kyle Gear, um, some other guys that have, have been here, uh, Resnick's in his senior year, and um, he's been doing a great job in practice. Uh, I really enjoy getting to work with him, and um, but yeah, I mean, I think we have we have a lot of contenders for different spots, and um, which I think is neat. Uh, you know, the staff and I have all talked about, like, just, we actually have some really good depth, and um, some healthy depth that we like, and, uh, you know, where we are, and skill sets, so, um, the season should be pretty fun to follow, um, just because you know, I think uh, we have a lot of people pushing each other. Let's talk about the season. Uh, first, let's talk about the schedule. You guys uh, go to Hawaii, and you have uh, you go to uh, the Off the Block Challenge in Nashville. Um, what uh, what uh, non conference games really stand out to you? Um, well, I mean the Hawaii trip for sure. You know we have Concordia, we have Hawaii there. Um, that's going to be a big one. I think that uh, us getting on the road to Tennessee is a, uh, it'll be a really good feeler to see kind of where we stand um, with uh, some non conference opponents that we won't typically. Um, uh, but other than that, I mean, I think they're, you know, we've, Jeff's kind of developed this schedule where we believe we have some good building blocks to show us how we're going to compete once we hit conference. And, uh, you know, I mean, we play, you know, we'll go to Tennessee and we'll play a school like Barton and they lead the Conference Carolinas and then, uh, 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 Jeff Lice has done a great job there, so we know that we're going to play strong teams from the get-go, so that helps. And then also we open up uh, our, you know, non-conference slate kind of scrimmaging. We'll, we'll play Alberta. They'll come down here um, to do some training and then uh, and then to play in a friendly scrimmage. So right from the get-go, we're, we're getting high-level competition. We're getting a lot of guys that, um, you know, potentially will have uh, you know, careers after after college, So which is, uh, you know, playing. So that's, I think, a really great thing to, to go up against. Uh, the NPSF, um, BYU loses a lot. They lose uh, four senior starters from their team. They uh, lose two of their assistants, and I, I'm a big fan of Luca and Jalen, so I think that's going to leave a big void. Um, with uh, with UCLA, they lose uh, four uh, key contributors as well, um, and Samford bounces back with, um, from their... Um, uh, a player being injured for most of last season, and another player being out for a good chunk of last season. How how do you see the uh, MPSF uh, unfolding? I mean, for sure, I I think the nice thing about the MPSF is is uh, from top to bottom, uh, you got to play every night, and I think that you know when you're talking about contending for championships and contending to put yourself in that position, um, I I think you know, we give ourselves plenty of opportunities for sure to compete hard every night. Um, I think. A, for us, a lot of teams, you know, the turnover and for as many returners as we have, you know, I even know today the guys are talking about just they feel really good with uh, what we have as far as from the start. And that, you know, hopefully translates into a little more confidence, especially when we start our non-conference and, and hopefully has us uh, build some successes along the way. Uh, anybody who follows you on uh, social media knows that you've been uh, making the most of uh, your time in L.A., uh, visiting places and uh, seeing all the new uh, different sites that you probably didn't see in uh, Fairfield, Connecticut. Yeah. Uh, what uh, is the what's your favorite what place that uh, has uh, stood out to you? Stood out to me. Um, like I said, there's there's a lot of really neat things, and there's a lot of things I for sure have on my to do list. Uh, you know, whenever I get some get some time to be away from the office, but uh, I know my wife and I the other night um, went to as a gift by our volunteer assistant Matt. Uh, we got tickets to go to a uh, uh, Flyers LA Kings game, and uh, she is a comes from a family that's a huge uh, Philadelphia Flyers fan. Uh, so um, I think uh, getting to see my uh, typically quiet wife, uh, you know, uh, get pumped up at an ice hockey game was pretty cool to see. Um, and uh, I mean, that was a really cool thing for us to do to be able to kind of get away from our work and and go out. So uh, I definitely have gone to more NHL uh, games here than I have. Uh, Ever. So um, it's been it's been nice to be able to do those things. 
All right, I'm not going to let you off there. What about your favorite restaurant? Oh, favorite restaurant. I'm a foodie, so there's a... Yep. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a good amount. We found, uh, I mean, there, there's... I, I want to explore uh, Koreatown a little more as well. You know, I think any place I can get some uh, Korean barbecue and get some bulgogi is a, is a win. Uh, my family's coming out for Thanksgiving, so we're hoping to explore some more of those restaurants. <laughs> Uh, well, I could just tell you, uh, there's two categories for me in terms of the Korean barbecue. There's the all you can eat, <laughs> and then there's the premium, yes. so you can't yes. compare the two. Yep. Well, Greg, it's been great talk, uh, chatting with you. Uh, thank you for your time uh, at Off the Block Blog, and uh, we wish you and USC Men's Volleyball a great uh, 2019 season. Awesome.